All right, I needed a basket for the rear of my bike. And I wanted a folding one and I couldn't totally decide. We got a kind of a, one of the more expensive ones, the well-known Wald, the Swagman basket, and then the Meg Hat, which is one of those funny Amazon names. A whole bunch of them look the same option there. All these are supposed to work. Some of these work for both handlebars and on the back of your rack. My use is going to be on the back of the rack. See packaging on those two, pretty much identical. This one's sort of a disaster. Um, there's actually the rest of the hardware just floating in the bottom of this bag. So there's no labeling at all on that one. So, but it doesn't really matter if it's a basket that works. Just judging by the first appearance here, I'm probably gonna try to put on the walled basket first because it looks to be the most straightforward. Um, but I'm gonna try to put one of these on right now and start giving you some feedback on them. But I wanna show you how they're packaged. Well, the walled basket already had some issues. The largest clamp, uh, the largest attachment will not work with these uh, fat tie, this fat tie rack. It is a bigger than normal clamp. It doesn't work with most panniers. I'll put it on the millimeter measurement of that. Same problem as Swagman, just not big enough hooks. I can use hose clamps, I'm just kind of showing what came with them. A few of the walled fasteners actually have a built-in washer, uh, when all the ones with the Swagman are just a, you know, bolt and a nylock uh, nut. Excuse my mess in the background. I'm going to show you just uh, from a feel perspective, the walled feels way better than the other ones. I mean, this one still feels pretty substantial and not too hokey. Um, you know, you know what? I actually think this one feels a little bit like it won't rattle around as much as the walled. Um, this one just feels kind of awful. It's all like spring loaded. It's kind of weird. Um, oh, geez. Well, that was kind of scary. Um, but, I mean, it still makes a basket. That's kind of wild that it kind of keeps its shape like that. All right, there's the uh, rack diameter. Looks like we are 16 millimeters. So it's a 16 millimeter diameter rack tubing. Um, and none of these three racks that I just bought will work with that size tubing. Right out, right, right out of the box. So I need some other parts to make each of these work. I bought the Swagman. I bought this one that comes about a hundred different names on Amazon, uh, none that I can pronounce. And this is the old walled basket, the old standby. What I was surprised at is basically all of them are quiet when you're riding. The amount of jingling is like not even really, uh, you can't even really hear it over road noise. Um, you know, when closed, when open, I thought there was going to be some noise. There really wasn't on all three of these. Uh, so the main difference is they're how they fold up and their dimensions a little bit. I'm going to use this little quilt as a kind of a go by. The mini named basket here um, is a lot shorter. Um, so to me that was a big determining factor. The smag man was a little bit, was the largest by a tiny little bit, followed by the walled, followed by uh, this Swag, this one which is actually made to go on the handlebars but I wanted to try it in this way because there weren't a lot of options and they were slightly different. This one is a uh, kind of spring-loaded system, so my thought in theory that would make it so it'd be quieter when it was uh, when you're riding. Like I said, it didn't really make too much of a difference. The thing that was surprising to me is all the clips are a little bit finicky to get undone, and they are the one thing that does jingle a tiny bit. Uh, the quality of the metal, the wall does seem a little bit better, thicker, way better than this one. The Swagman is still quite good. You can see here I had to use hose clamps on it because the stock hardware would not fit on this fat tire bike on any of these. I'm just going to cut to the chase, right? Well, which one would I buy if I was to do this again? Without a doubt, 100%, I'd buy the Swagman basket. Quality really isn't much different than the walled basket. Price is about half. Um, this walled basket is expensive. I think it's honestly overpriced. The other thing that this the other thing that the Swagman basket has that the others don't is this mesh bottom, which is really nice not having stuff kind of wanting to poke out of the bottom of the basket. Um, and also has a slightly smaller grid pattern than the other baskets. So this is the one I would get. This is my recommendation. You don't even have to bother shopping these other ones. I just did it for you. Go get the Swagman. I'm not going to take these damn things off, the ones I don't want.